Welcome back to Mojo Grip. Mike here. Today, we're going to practice some stalls in the Mojo Sling. Now, this is a good practice just for anybody. Whenever you learn how to fly or you're transitioning into a new airplane, it's a good idea to learn the characteristics and how that airplane behaves when you put it in a stall position. I have flown a Sling TSI before. I've just never practiced stalls or any emergency procedures in the Sling TSI. So this would be the first and so today we're taking off from Fulton County Airport. We're going to fly down to a practice area that's close by. And I've got my friend here, Carlson, with me. He's a certified CFI. And he's basically going to watch what I'm doing. I wouldn't do this on my own. Approach. Flaps are on. Trim is good. Both fuel pumps on. Yep. Okay. So, that's, so Northwoods is just straight out. Pretty much straight out. He wants to do a right turn. So when you get out, just do a... A hair to the right, but if you go straight out, you're actually fine. Oh. Uh, the winds are pretty actually calm. We don't have any winds, but I still would give it a little bit of right aileron on takeoff. Oh. Takeoff roll. Get on the center line. Get on the center line and see where that's at. So for me, that's perfect center line. But that's how you would see it when you come in to land. Yep. As you build up speed, start taking that aileron out just a little bit. Yep. All right. Perfect. And then do 15 nose up. And that should get to your 75. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Whether you're about getting organized or you just want to explore your creative side, Skillshare has just the right classes for you. Like this photography class taught by Rachel and Daniel, it's a short eight lesson course for anybody. It's an absolute beginner course and it teaches you the right angle and concepts to take your photo shoots. From concept to creation, you'll learn exactly how to showcase photography that means the most to you. Here are some key lessons covered in this course. Researching and sketching to create a show stop and concept. Choosing the right location and of course, choosing the right lighting. And you learn how to style your shot intuitively. Every step in this course is packed with helpful tips that you won't find anywhere else. Right now, Skillshare is running a great promotion. The first thousand people to use the link in the description below gets a free trial of their premium membership. And after that, it's only $10 a month. Check out Skillshare today and sign up. Is that no higher than four or five? Four or five, yep, no higher than four or five. Practice installs are essential to your own safety as a pilot. You learn this both as a student and as a certified pilot when you do your biannual review. And so to simulate a stall, you basically put the airplane in a landing or takeoff position. What you call a power off stall is basically you configure the airplane as if you're coming into land, which is when stalls happens often because the airplane is flying much slower than usual. And so that's what I'm going to simulate here. All right. So pretty much, I look for an emergency spot. This is the practice area I, I use. Like that right that there. spot is, yes, what we use as an emergency spot. Oh, God. So if we have any issues, that's where we're going to. All right. All right, so at this point, we can just practice some stalls. If you want me to kind of show you how it breaks first, or if you just want to do it, as long as you keep coordination, it's going to actually break pretty nice. Okay. Uh, if you don't keep coordination, it's going to break based off where your rudder input is. 
Okay, now if it breaks, say a wing drop, or if you feel a wing drop, you use rudder, not aileron, to correct. It. Correct, yeah. Use opposite rudder to right, bring that right. wing up. Okay. But initially, just let that, just let that, uh, that yoke go down like you're talking about. Okay. All right, do we need to talk to traffic here? No, nope. you don't talk to anything. No, you're good. We're outside of everybody's airspace. Uh, we're outside of Kennesaw. We're outside of Dobbins. We're outside of Paulding. This okay. practice area here is good. Right, what we do know. need to do, though, first is our uh, clear okay. turns. Okay. Yep. So uh, you want me to go ahead and do that? Yeah, can you do either a 180 or do 290s? I'll do a 180. All right. Climbed a little bit. And then when you come back around, put your nose on that smoke stack when we come back, the big power stack. And spalling traffic, helicopter 684, out that go, be entering a right downwind for 3 2. Alright, so you got Atlanta, you got Stone Mountain, you see Stone Mountain way out there? Uh, not much. Yeah, I see that. Yep. Yeah, so that's the reference point when we go back. Alright, where's the smoke stack you want? We gotta keep going around. So that's Dobbins Air Force Base right in front of us. Okay. That's Kennesaw Airport right here in front of us. Gotcha. And then the smokestacks are coming around. Alright. Yep. And now what I want you to do, once we get headed towards those smokestacks, is configure for slow, slow, uh, slow flight. flight. Yep. Stop. And you can do it without flaps, you're fine. All right. Hold on. All right, so I'm coming into land. Yep. Uh, gonna pull my power back. Maintain this altitude. Starting and adding your flaps in. Once you yeah, get to that, so, well, yeah. yeah. And trim the uh so that way you're not fighting the plane. Griffin Spalding traffic. Six eight four Alpha Echo right down wind three two. Griffin Spalding. All right. First notch of flaps. Oh. Always goes down. Man. Okay. Second. Yep. You want me to put full flaps in? Yeah, go ahead and do full flaps and get a descent going in, a 500 foot descent. Okay. Uh, pretty high. And just let that bleed off, just keep letting it bleed off. And then once you get back to 75, go power to idle. Let's get power to idle now and just hold that altitude. Hold it right here. Hold it. Hold it. Keep your coordination. Look outside the plane. Just hold it. 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 You're good. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And keep pulling back. Hold it. Keep pulling back. Yeah, but keep pulling back. 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 I pull can feel back. a little bit of, it's all the way back. All right, pull it back some more. It'll probably come back some more. Bro. It's not? Okay. That's that's all I got. All right, so now if you look, we're actually stalled. We're just, look Are at this. Are you kidding me? Yes, we're descending. This is actually a stall. It's, Get out, man. It's called a mush. All right. This is so weird, right? I'm not feeling anything. No vibration coming through on this airplane. 
which is very odd to me. But if you pay close attention, you see that I'm not actually pulling the stick all the way back in the airplane. Carson, on the other hand, is able to pull the stick further back compared to how I was doing it. Now, the reason why I wasn't able to pull the stick all the way back is because my sitting position is blocking the stick from pulling further back. And so the airplane is not able to stall aggressively. Now, this could be a good thing because I'm usually the pilot flying this airplane. And whenever I'm flying, my sitting position is always going to be right here. And so what that means for me is it's going to be almost impossible to put this airplane at a really bad position or possibly stall it whenever I'm flying because my seat will limit my nose pitch position if I try to pull up too aggressively, and so I'm not able to stall the airplane that way. We tried several turns stalling the airplane, and ultimately, this plane stalls very nicely. It's really non-eventful. I barely felt any vibration, and it almost just dropped from the sky like a leaf, slowly and gradually. As long as you pay attention to what's happening and you're looking at your instrument and see that you're losing altitude, you should be just fine and be able to correct the problem in time. Also, a great safety feature in the Garmin G3X Touch, I've got a stall warning, which starts to notify me in time before the airplane even stalls. So with all these additional steps in place, it's easier for me to fly this airplane safe. All right, so this time, slow it down, but don't add any flaps in. Okay. But... Uh, let's start. Let's pull it back again like you did earlier. This will raise your stall speed up, okay? Okay. All right, same thing. No flaps, though. Just pull the power out or... Yeah, you can actually pull it back now and just hold that altitude. Try to keep coordination. And just keep pulling back. I think the, the vibration I feel is from the prop. Ah, I got you. Not the actual buffet. Because I can f kind of feel it right now. Yeah. That's the prop, yeah. Yep. Keep pulling it back. Try to hold it 4,005. But we're down. So try to hold 4,3 three right now. Yep. Keep pulling back. Keep pulling back. It's going to break. It's feel like it's breaking now. Just a little Air bit of... Speed. Yep, keep holding it. Keep holding it. You got it full back? All the way back. All right. Man. So you see we're losing altitude still. Yeah, yeah. This is stall? So what is it that I learned today? I learned that the Sling TSI is just as good as I thought. It's a safe airplane. Stall is non-eventful, but it was important for me to know the characteristics of the airplane if it were to stall. That way I can recognize it in time. It's also important to understand that an airplane will stall at any speed. It doesn't have to be slow. It could be cruising slow or fast. If the airplane surpasses the angle of attack, it will stall. But as the pilot in command, it's important to recognize it early and be able to correct the problem and hopefully you've got enough altitude under you to correct the problem. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know your experience in the comments below. Again, my name is Mike. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. A great way to support Mojo Grip is by becoming an MVP member. Go into mojogrip.net forward slash MVP and sign up there. Or you can just click the join button here on YouTube. Thank you all so much for your support and I will catch you on the next video.